What's going on everybody? Blink October here and today I'm here with something special. This is not just a gameplay video of me yelling all over the place. It's actually a tutorial video and I'm going to teach you how to download and install and play with the newest DOA 6 plus plus 2.5 beta update. This is a community patch brought to us by my good friend Rev amongst a slew of others. I just want to say real quick before I get started, thanks to Rev and everybody involved with the project and everyone who was involved with the testing of the project. I'm not going to include myself in there, even though me and my friends were able to play on some of the earlier builds as well. But shout outs to everybody involved. This thing is turning out great and it is still a beta release and he is planning on it around release update four for it to not just be beta so everyone is still working on it but this is the most complete build that we've had thus far and i'm going to show you how to get it now i'm going to put the link to this in the description and it's actually mad easy you're going to go to this link that i have in the description and it's also in one of my commands on my stream i'm not going to plug my stream but you can definitely do that if you do miss this video and that's going to bring you to this message board post on free step dodge it, it it looks like it's an older post but this is actually just updated by rev so he updated it with the link for 2.5 and he's got the patch notes he's got some supplementary notes right there and a bunch of other good stuff like an issue tracker a youtube playlist for other people's uh, gameplay on the mod and combo videos so you can go get some ideas here's all the stuff that he has given everybody thanks you can read through that yourself i'm going to teach you how to get this so literally all you have to do for the update itself is click on this link and it's not going to send you to another website or anything like that it's literally just going to be the zip file for the update which means yes you are going to have to have 7-zip or win zip or WinRAR or something to unzip it and then you're gonna go ahead and extract the files I I have a different folder where I put all like game stuff and mods and stuff in I'm not gonna do it because I already have it but um, I'll show you where it went and I put it in here so you're gonna extract the whole folder and the folder is gonna show up like this update underscore 2.5 underscore and underscore launcher underscore script yes with this there actually is a straight up launcher that rev and everybody made so you can launch with just the mod version if you don't want to go through steam and stuff so you're going to go into the folder and then there's the real folder for it and basically all of this except what says here the shortcuts this is the launcher right here all of this you are going to highlight it and you're going to copy and paste it into the steam local files for doa6 yes this is only available for the pc steam version of this game can't do it on console i'm sure team ninja would probably send the fbi or somebody to go take you around back i don't know and honestly it's just really complicated to do that right now especially with still how young a lot of these consoles are but you're going to go into the folder for doa6 and literally all you're going to do is you're going to take all of this and you're going to copy and you're going to paste it in and it's going to ask you if you want to replace files and stuff like that i'm not going to do it because i've already done it but basically you want to hit yes you know replace any files and stuff and there you go that's really all you have to do. That's literally it. That is legitimately it. You can look in the mod folder and see everything that's actually part of this mod as well, like hitboxes. So this folder for hitboxes, you can actually go uh, where they have all the mods and stuff. I don't know where to find the actual hitbox uh, mod thing, but you can actually get a hitbox viewer which is actually really cool. The positions goes into that as well. You can have recordings and then replacements. And this is basically what is making the magic. These are all of the move set replacements for every character in DOA 6. So that's basically what's happening. But you don't really have to worry about that. You pretty much have the mod installed right now. So I'm going to show you basically what it should look like it to know that it is working but actually before i do that let me not forget let me show you how i personally launched this i'll tell you why because for some reason this shortcut does not really work for me i don't know what it is 
because you're actually able to just drag and drop this onto your desktop and start it from this. Because a neat thing uh, with how they did this release was that they made it to where if you launch just from the 6++ shortcut or even from this batch file within the DOA6 folder, when you uh, copy and paste it in, it will launch the mod version. But if you launch the regular version of Dead or Alive 6 straight from Steam, it will not be the mod version. So it's completely separated now, so you don't have to worry about, you know, taking files out of the folder and all that stuff. It's completely separated. But I'll show you basically how I launch it right now. I just go ahead and open the local files, and I'll scroll down until I see the batch file here. Launch 6++ six, six plus plus and auto deactivate when done yes it will automatically deactivate the mod when you're done playing the game so again if you want to play the vanilla version of the game which to be completely honest i don't know why you want to at this point because this is an amazing update even though it's still in beta there are still things that are not balanced out but it, it's so much more of a fun game but I, I i will save that for a different video you can just launch it from here so i'm going to show you what happens when i launch it from here uh, you know, fiddle around with it just a little bit so I can show you that the update is working. Let me go ahead and plug my controller and we're gonna go ahead and start it. Let me just double click it. Got that started. It starts like regular and once all the Steam stuff in the corner goes away, um, you will actually will see that on the bottom right, it actually does say 6++ and whatever uh, the release is. Um, so for this one, even though, yeah, it says 2.5, it's gonna still say uh, V2.06. I think the 2.5 update is legitimately just like a hotfix to see it says like number eight. So this is like the eighth revision of this update. So trust me, you have the correct update if you got it from the link. You could possibly have an older one if you've already messed with this. Uh, so make sure you go to that link in the description and get the latest one or it's going to cause your game to break when you play in lobbies with people that have the latest update. So to show you basically proof that it is straight up working. Um, actually, even better. My boy Rido, because this was definitely a character that needed some help. He definitely got some help in this patch. There are the stage mods and stuff that you can kind of use to supplement this and get rid of some of the uh, like crowd and stuff like that. But basically, you see the meter is not refilling. You can get a UI mod, which I'm probably going to go ahead and get today to just take away that meter portion on the bar on underneath the life bar anyway. But it's not going to refill. It's not there. You don't have actual S's. You do have your sidestep attack. You know, so that's part of the system changes and stuff. And I can save that for another video. If y'all want me to make a video walking through all of the system changes and maybe also walking through all the changes for every single character, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely like to sit down and do that. I'll probably most likely either do those live on stream for the thousandth time, because I mean, I don't mind going through it. I, I love looking through all the stuff again. Um, or I could just do straight up recordings. I don't really do too many straight up recordings anymore, but you know, let me know if you want to see full on character change uh, videos. But uh, yeah, you know, Rido's got all of this now, all, all of that. So this is, this is how you know the update works. There's, there's uh, not that many close hits anymore, stuff like that. So you would just notice all the changes with that. On the same link on the description, there is also a link to the comprehensive patch notes. So these are ever changing. These will change with each release, depending on what he adds, what he takes away and stuff. So you can look at not only the system changes and all that here, and all the other like little things like stage stuff, push capsule, which is basically like hitboxes, hurt boxes, stuff like that. And then of course the character specific changes for this patch. So you will have all the information that you need. But like I said, if you want me to just walk through all the characters and maybe just walk through the system changes and show you exactly what's happening, let me know. I would definitely not mind making some content with that. But with that said, that is how you get the six plus plus gameplay overhaul mod update 2.5 again shout outs to Revan Alex and everyone involved with this and I can't wait to see you all mess with this patch have a good rest of your day or evening and I'll catch you in the next one